Hi, and welcome to a new video. In this video, we are going to scan a WordPress site with a tool called WPScan. We we'll scan it against um, security vulnerabilities. WPScan, as you can see in its GitHub page, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a tool ma made for scan WordPress sites uh, against security vulnerabilities. Things like the, the user credentials, the old version of, the, of WordPress, vulnerable plugins and things like this. Uh, we are going to use the a vulnerable a WordPress site called them vulnerable WordPress. Uh, then we are going to scan it with WP scan and then we are going to use something called an API token for WP scan to get the exact vulnerability for each the specific vulnerability raised for each component. So let's get started. We are going to use Docker playground or Docker online to install the, the WordPress site, then we can scan it. We are going to scan it with WP scan. So let's follow the installation. I will copy this one first. I'm getting the, the get site is from the repo. Let's then go to the folder. Then try to compose it, compose the Docker image. Compose. After the com the com the Docker Compose is, is completed. We are going to create a new site with admin username and password. Then we are going to install this uh, component, which may, which installed some of the vulnerable uh, plugins. Let's see when this is done. Okay, now we have, as you can see, now we have two different ports, one for the PHP my admin and the other for the WordPress site. I think the 37 is the WordPress site. The site is now, the site is ready to be configured and the site title we are going to use um, WP scan sites. With the name that's called uh, user one for email user one at test.com and for the password here he, the it suggested uh, a complex password i can copy it only then we can install wordpress okay now we have a working site so if we if we delete the wp-admin, we, we should have a normal, as you can see, a normal a normal WordPress site. Now let's go to the, the installation and then take the final port, the uh, vulnerable components installation. You can put it here. If we refresh the site, we can see that we have uh, a vulnerable component now installed. Uh, what we are going to do now is I will take this one, I will take this URL, open the, the terminal, because I installed WP scan already, so WP scan, WP scan, dash, dash URL, and we'll put, put the URL, and then, I will put the command uh, the command in the description below.
WP scan now should start to assess or uh, scan the WordPress site, the, the vulnerable website, uh, the vulnerable WordPress site against vulnerabilities. And then as you can see, as we are going to see that it will be listed each component and what is the vulnerability suspecting or it's already there. Take some time. working Okay, then the passive, uh, then the backup enumeration completed. Let's see what's happening here. It's here that uh, now we have the know exactly what uh, the server name. Uh, it's enumerating the the server name so through passive detection that we have uh, Apache Server version two point four point thirty eight. From the 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 WP scan found the robots to text. Okay, and then we have a readme file. We can find the readme file. The tool found the readme file of the of WordPress. And then the version, it's uh, by enumeration found that, that the current version is 5.3, which was, which was published uh, on last 2019. So it's an, it's an old uh, version of WordPress. Uh, now we know the WordPress theme in use, which theme this uh, this uh, site is using. And again, this, and here you can see that this version is out of date. The latest version is 2.5, and we have here uh, an older one. Then we have um, social warfare. This as well is an is a dated or outdated version of, of this um, plugin, which was released um, because the, the the last version is released on 11th uh, or Jan of this year, Jan 2024. Uh, the same for WP Advanced Search, WP File Upload, and as you can see here, we can we have different uh, number of uh, security flaws in this WordPress site. Most of it was uh, an outdated version or the vulnerable versions, but we don't know specifically here what was the vulnerability for each outdated or for each vulnerable plugin. We don't know exactly what was the vulnerability. So we can use something called um, API token. This was with this one that I I showed you in the beginning of the version. This one, I have to copy this. Because with the API token, with the WordPress API token, with WP scan, sorry, API token, uh, when we run the same test again, the same scan again with the token, then you can see that with each vulnerability found, we have a link to what was the exact vulnerability at that time. Let's see what. Yes, we have this. This is, I have to just to change the URL and then replace um, the newer token. Let's um, paste the the current URL. I have to delete this, and also I want to delete this. We don't need random user agent here. Okay, uh, where is the site? Sorry, the site is here. And let's take the URL, and then okay. So now it's the command is wp scan dash dash url, then the url the same as we 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 have done before, but here again uh, the 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 extra thing is vp dash dash api token and then 
we put the token from the wpscan.com, this token. And then when we when we run again, let's run. The same vulnerability should be displayed, the same the same results as the previous time, but with more detail on each each detected vulnerability. We'll take some time, but till till start to to display anything. Let's have a look at the the previous one. In an example of one of the vulnerable APIs like the social warfare, uh, we don't have anything more than that. This is an an outdated version, but we don't know exactly what was the issue. But here, it's still working. Okay, if you can now we let's let's see how what is happening with the new version. This is the new script, the new command. When we have the WordPress version identified, we have fifty two vulnerabilities identified with the title and a link to each one of them. What were the vulnerabilities at that time, or for this or for this specific version? And we can go to the URLs to see. Let's go to the See what one of the one of the found, uh, discovered APIs like social warfare. Here we have five vulnerabilities. One of them of uh, one of them is remote code execution. We have uh, post meta detection VICSRF, uh, stored across site scripting. All of those are those those were the specific vulnerabilities found on the version installed now on the vulnerable WordPress. If we if we had a one take a copy of one of the links and then we, we visit on the WP scan site, you can say you can find the, the description of the vulnerability itself. And what was the fix? This is fixed already because they have a they had a different uh, uh, updated version, but here you can find specifically what was uh, the vulnerability at that time. And this is the benefit of using the API to have more specific results for the for the site under test or the vulnerabilities already discovered. Uh, that's, that's all for now. Uh, as you can see, you can scan your WordPress site against vulnerabilities using WP scan. There is more to WP scan than uh, more than that I've showed you right now. Uh, what we you can what we did is just scan the site with the default default command or default settings, and then we added the API just to get more information about the discovered vulnerabilities. I will put all the links. Uh, you can find all the links below in the description for the them vulnerable WordPress for the WP scan. But you have to to register a user here. In WP scan to be able to get a token uh, in the free tier you can have 25 calls per day using the APIs. Uh, of course you are not going you are not you will not be able to use this token again because I will just generate a new one. But uh, you have you can subscribe or you can register here to get the APIs but with a limit again with 25 calls per day. Uh, I will put all the links for WP scan for the damn vulnerable uh, World WordPress site for Docker Docker Playground. If you want to try this, it's a Docker online a version, but you have a session for only four hours. Uh, if you don't want to install Docker uh, locally on your machine, uh, yeah, I uh, hope you find this video uh, really useful and, and see you in other videos. Bye.